Rachel McFarlane here from American Dad. Rachel, first of all, I got to ask about Haley because I heard that in the first episode, you have a lot to do with what's going on. Yes. Mm. It's amazing. It's a huge Haley episode, mm. which is cool because we don't have a ton of huge right? Haley episodes. <laughs> No, but um, Roger converts his attic into mm -hmm. a nightclub, and he hires Haley to be its singer, mm -hmm. which is oh. great because it coincides That's one with one week, the isn't it? The same week or week after yep, September the album 25th. drops. Yeah, the album is out September twenty fifth, mm -hmm. so people can, yeah, hear it on the show a few That's days later. Cool, man. I know it's so exciting, Go and on. then you know I'm performing in L A. too. Some of the songs from the record. Where at? Uh, September twenty eighth at Catalina Jazz Club in Hollywood. Does do you ever? Because you're normally in the booth behind your. Yeah. You're always a cartoon. Does it ever like performing live in front of people? Does that ever make you nervous? Because it's two different settings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. No, you get so used to being in a booth, mm -hmm. having a script, yeah. just not right. It's it's, a, it's an entirely different kind of performing when you're behind the scenes exactly. than when you're stepping in front of people. So, I mean, I was a musical theater major in college. I'm trying to tap into what mm -hmm. it was that I used to do <laughs> and remember why I loved it and, and, and get in that headspace again. I think mm. it's going to be fun. That's awesome. Now, growing up with Seth, I want to know, how was, did you guys banter with each other? Would he make fun of you and you really had to get that comeback? Because on the show, you do a great job at holding your own. <laughs> Thank you. How was that, like, growing up with him? Oh, God, yes. Mm. He was vicious. <laughs> I bet. Really vicious. And yeah, you couldn't really really survive in our house mm -hmm. unless you were able to, you know, you had to come back and, mm -hmm. and hold your own for sure. I mean, my mother was the same way. She was absolutely one of the most hilarious people I've ever met. I mean, That's Seth got awesome. his humor from her. And, uh, and so, yeah, it was funny. Maybe around high school, Seth mm -hmm. and I started to become friends. And, uh, and we've been <laughs> and Bill close together. friends ever since. But, yeah, no, as kids, man, look out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I, you guys always go outside the box. Like, Seth, I can't say how, um, like, he just doesn't have any boundaries at all. No. Is there anything that ever you guys are like, no, I don't think we can do that on the show? You know, um, it's funny because they don't leave that up to us mm -hmm. or him. That's sort of... Um, there's a whole department, standards and practices, mm -hmm. that make that decision for them. Oh, okay. So I think pretty much we just put out what we want to put out, <laughs> and then we have the table read where everybody sits around, right, and we read mm -hmm. the script. And then at that point they say, yeah, no, you can't, you can't yeah. crack that joke. We're not that's gonna right, do that that right just now. happened. Or, yeah, you know, <laughs> like that's not funny yet. In a year, that mm. might be funny, but right now it's just mean. Yeah, I think yeah. I remember him saying recent tragedies you guys try to stay yes. away from, but other than that, everything's like a free for all. Exactly, exactly. And it'll be interesting because, like, we had an episode, our hurricane episode. Mm. I don't know if you remember that, which was a crossover yes. between Cleveland and American Dad. Well, right Ed. around that time, there were all of those horrific storms in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and they had to pull the episode because it just seemed, even though we'd done the episode a year prior. Prior, it just it seemed way too insensitive. So, now, how do you tap into Haley? Like, what is the like? Are you do you have any cartoon inspirations that go into the actual character that is Haley, or is it just more you than anything? It's honestly more than any of the other work that I do. Haley is more me. I mean, even from word go with the audition process, um, when I went in, they said we just want her to sound like you, and so. Yeah, when, yeah, I mean, we share the same political views. Where there are a lot of things about Haley that are like me. That's awesome. So yeah, when I go in to do that character, I'm definitely in character, but it's not a stretch like some of the other ones that I do. There you go. And now, besides having the Haley sings, what about Rachel on your own? Are you going to be singing or going into tapping into that? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. This record is really a wonderful marriage between Haley and myself. Um, it's a lot of music from the 60s and 70s, which oh, was awesome. what I grew up listening to because of my parents. Mm -hmm. And it's also the music that she would have listened to as a hippie child, yeah. you know? So it's it really is this perfect marriage. And I feel like my voice... It's my voice people are hearing, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and yeah, we're hoping that that it gets to a lot of ears and, and people love it as much as we do. And it's something that I can continue doing. And I'm sure they won't. I thank you for not just going like a super trendy, like, oh, whatever's hot right now. It's really <laughs> you going back to the 60s and yeah. stuff with your music and things you like. I'm a big fan of, of um, jazz music and standards and big band and, awesome. and just good music, you know, there you, you know, and, and, and not a lot of... Um, you know, vocal electronics. Yeah, no, so I want people to hear on. what I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel. So September 30th is the season premiere, and yep. September 25th is the album dropping. You got it. Make sure you guys get that. Thank you so much for hanging Thank out with us, Rachel. Thank you so much, guys.